Assassin's Creed Unity review in 2021. Should you play it? Should you buy it? Should you just rent it? No, I don't even think you can rent things anymore. <laughs> but should you wait for a sale, maybe? And what should you do with your life? That's a real question that we all have, right? Anyways, with that said, we're gonna be we're gonna be redoing or uh, re <laughs> reviewing this game, a game that was created about six or seven years ago, I believe now, in the year 2021 through the lens of five different factors, that being gameplay, story, replayability, and then of course, graphics and length. So with that said, we'll start off with gameplay. And gameplay for Assassin's Creed Unity is very interesting because it was right at the precipice of the change in mechanics, I believe, for the Assassin's Creed um, series, where Assassin's Creed started to go in more of like an action RPG sense, and really started to go for like these extremely long stories where it's care, you know, it's obviously character driven, which it always has been in the past, but really focusing on the story and the RPG elements of the game, like you see in Origins, Odyssey, and uh, in the newest one, Valhalla. So with Assassin's Creed Unity, it's definitely a lot more on the side of the prior Assassin's Creed, if you're familiar with with uh, Assassin's Creed 1 through 3, Brotherhood, you know, those sorts of ones with, uh, f you know, featuring Ezio Diodatore and, um, and uh, who's the first guy? Uh, Altair, yeah, Altair, him. Uh, very similar in that regard, and I found that it actually was a more refined version of the original Assassin's Creed formula. Now, Assassin's Creed Unity got really shit on when it first released um, because it had, you know, it had kind of a poor release, a lot of bugs, a lot of issues, a lot of uh, suboptimal um, uh, setups apparently people having difficulty running it but now that we're you know six seven years after that the technology has certainly caught up the developers have gone back in and uh, re-optimized it and really fixed a lot of the prior issues and for myself playing it in 2021 I I didn't have any of that actually uh, you know there's a few janky animations here and there but that's you know gonna come with a game that's from 20 you know 2014 or 2015 right so at the end of the day I do think that it actually did the original formula um, probably in one of the best ways that we've seen. Now, as of the earlier Assassin's Creed's, I would say it's probably one of the best ones, in my opinion. Yes, Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed 2 are usually the ones that people, um, you know, give the most credit to, and I agree with that, but it's just a more polished and refined version of what was working in those original Assassin's Creed's. The parkour is very fluid, very, very feels good, feels right, and I do like that about this, uh, this particular game. The the, well, we'll get into the scenery later, I suppose. So that's a little bit more relevant. But obviously, the gameplay is related to the um, to the setting, and the setting for a game like this, being in France uh, during revolutionary times, is actually quite unique and really beautiful to look at. To be fair, too. Um, with that said, the gameplay did feel like it lacked a little bit of depth. Now, there is certainly customization features where you can try out different types of weapons. You know, you can obviously use, a, you can even use like a musket, for example, or a pistol, which adds a little bit more uniqueness to it in the way that you don't see in other Assassin's Creed's because usually, you know, it's like sword and board for the most part or sword and, well, uh, well, Assassin's Blade, of course, too. But more importantly, you know, it gives me more variability with how to play the game. In fact, there's even like this very cool contraption that's like a half like spear half gun <laughs> or like I think it's like kind of like a shotgun actually I didn't, I didn't get too much of a chance to use it but um, I, you know, I actually did quite like that because it does give you a lot of, a lot of different ways to accomplish your goals as well as, you know, the tried and true way of being an actual assassin. No one saw a ship and, you know, stealthing around. So you really have to kind of tech into or, or skill point into the play style that you want to do, which is really, really great because it does give you, you the player, the, well, the, the full on authority on how to actually accomplish your goals of which a lot of missions in this game actually do require some sort of like stealth component of it. So that's always gonna be at the forefront of a game like this. And it should be because, well, that is Assassin's Creed's in essence, but at the end of the day, can you be a, an offensive powerhouse just going in, you know, swords ablazing or I guess guns ablazing too? Yeah, you can make that work and uh, and all of the cool contraptions. That's going to be a big uh, portion of this game as well with the smoke bombs, especially. In fact, this is really the first game, the first Assassin's Creed, where I felt the necessity to use smoke bombs often. Now, with that said, the gameplay, like I said, this is a game from 2014 to 2015. So sometimes, you know, you press a button and not exactly what you want to happen uh, happens. The camera can be a little bit wonky sometimes 
to. It is it's just a you know just just a relic of the past. But as far as gameplay goes, does it take away from the enjoyment of it? No, it's still pretty damn fun. It's not super challenging. You don't really I don't really think that you even get to pick your difficulty be, to begin with. But it's it, you know it's not a super challenging game to be fair. Um, and uh, for the most part, the combat mechanics are very similar to what you see in the prior Assassin's Creed games. So if you liked that, this is a more polished and refined version of that with with more accessories essentially more um you know more more ways to accomplish your goals more weapons more things available to you the player which i actually thought was pretty damn well and actually really did enjoy it to be fair uh the story so the story in this game is okay uh it's decent uh you know a lot of people actually do happen to like it i thought that it was um you know, good enough for an Assassin's Creed, but it's certainly not what you see in the more recent Assassin's Creed games, where the story is actually more of a centerpiece and really um, is kind of is kind of like the most motivating portion to actually even play the game. In this game, it's more about the gameplay than anything else. And yes, the story is certainly there, and there are certainly some cool parts with it. But I don't feel as wrapped up in it in the same way that I did when I played, um, you know, you know, when I played some of the more recent ones, where you know, it's really like. You know, they're really going hard on the story, obviously, and maybe a little bit less, or, or I wouldn't say less, but different gameplay, definitely, definitely a different gameplay mechanic. Um, so, you know, the story is a bit of an acquired taste, obviously, but as always with the Assassin's Creed games, it's going to be a little bit secondary to the gameplay for the earlier versions of these games. So with that in mind, um, you know, if you're looking for a really elaborate story with a whole bunch of twists and turns and really something to get you wrapped up over in like a Skyrim game, that's not going to be this game. No, this game is about the f this this game is about the fun gameplay aspects of it. Story is kind of secondary, but not bad. It's not a hindrance for sure. Just, you know, it's not going to it's probably not going to be something that you remember for the rest of your life without spoiling anything. Uh, moving on, the length of the game, a little bit on the shorter side for an Assassin's Creed. I believe uh, most people finish this game within about 15 to 20 hours. So that is certainly on the uh, on the lower end of the spectrum for most games coming out this day. Compare that with Valhalla, which is about a 50 hour long campaign. But compare the price and it's about five dollars versus uh, 50 or 60 bucks. So <laughs> there you go. A little bit of difference right there as well. But but more importantly with the length you know that's obviously up to you to decide i happen to find that a little bit on the lower end for a game like this um but then again because it's not like you know because the story is not super intense not super uh exciting i guess that's kind of more in line with the ethos of a game like this like get in there get out have some fun and uh and move on to the next one which at this date you know these games are are, are are so discounted especially during sales periods that um that's really the way that it should be looked at and this will come and play back into our wrap up a little bit later but keep that in mind the length is certainly on the lower side in comparison to other assassin's creed's games uh the graphics so again a game from 2014 2015 uh, it's not going to be. It's not going to hold up in today's in today's graphical department. Now, was it a hindrance to my enjoyment of the game? Absolutely not. It was pretty damn good actually for a 2014-2015 game. Probably about as good as it can be, um, you know, considering the era, I suppose. But uh, does it compare to obviously like a side? You can't really compare it to a Cyberpunk, but does it compare to you know even a, like a Valhalla? No, they're going to be night and day really. So um, the th well, to be fair though, with the gra in the graphical department because France is. Is such an interesting and vibrant place that actually does still shine through like when you're walking through the palace of versailles or you're walking through just any of the more gentrified areas the colors and the opulence of everything really does stand out and actually is quite uh, compelling and quite and quite uh drawing i mean i mean i i really did stop to admire some of these settings sometimes um just because well one i love to explore new places and then two it was still very much interesting but if you're looking for like the extremely detailed uh, graphics that we have access to nowadays. No, nah, it's not going to be there because they, they, you know they just weren't doing it in those in those days. But um, it is very interesting to go and explore around the different places that you can get into, as uh, there is a lot in there, and it really does give you an insight into you know how some people are living during this time. Although you know obviously not fully historically accurate, obviously, but with that in mind, uh, it does make you feel immersed within that um, within that revolutionary French period, which I really really liked. I thought that that was super cool. I wish they would have done a longer segment on the 
finished deal because that could have, I just feel like that could have been so like so much more instead. It was just a relatively short mission to be fair. Um, hopefully I'm not giving up too much right there, but, uh, I figure most people would, would imagine that, you know, you're going to see a scene like that within the game. Um, but graphically speaking, uh, there is again, a little bit of jank as well with the animations, um, which is, you know, a, a kind of a separate category than what you're actually looking at, uh, visually as far as the environment goes. I think that was done pretty damn well, uh, but the animations can sometimes seem a little bit off. You know, when you go into the killing animation, it might seem like the sword doesn't actually connect with the enemy. That can be a little bit uh, strange to look at sometimes, but for the most part, it does work and it didn't, it certainly did not take away from my enjoyment of the game. Uh, moving on to replayability, I would say that there's not much of replayability in a game like this uh, because the main draw for replayability um, when it first released was the fact that you could go online and do missions with friends, uh, play multiplayer, do that whole thing. And because it is a game that's, you know, like, you know, five years past its release date, there's just not that many people playing it anymore. So you're unlikely to find anyone else to do those missions with um, unless you happen to have a friend who has a game as well and you just want to go in and do some co-op. Yep, yeah, that could be very, very cool um, for a little bit of replayability. But uh, once you've kind of beaten the game and you've done most of the side quests, are you really going to feel compelled to do it again? I mean, it's not like the story is really going to change all that much. And uh, in your experience of the game is, you know, you could you could approach some missions differently. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, you can try out different play styles with the different weapons that are available to you, but you're not going to get uh, anything more than that. Uh, and maybe, you know, a few few different skins as well, which I think is self-explanatory. So wrapping it all up, you know, I want to I want to come at this review from the context of someone who is in the year 2021 or beyond and looking at this game through a historical lens going back, you know, five, six years ago, right? So with that said, is it an enjoyable game? Yes, absolutely. Is it the best Assassin's Creed of all time? No, I would not say so, <laughs> but is it, you know, is it a good Assassin's Creed? Yes, I do think that it got a really bad rap when it first released, and that was not really warranted in my opinion. The reason why I say that is because, well, it was warranted at release, but it's just not relevant today because all of those issues have been more or less fixed, and it's a very workable game, and, and you know, in a, in, in, in a very solid game, I'd say. It's a very solid entry into the series, and keep in mind that this game, again, during a holiday discounted period, is going to be around five bucks on steam so do i think that it's worth it at that price absolutely do i think it's worth it at its uh, full price which i would imagine is probably around 20 bucks maybe for some people maybe not for others but if you're just looking for an assassin's creed to kind of wet you over until the next release and you want something that's you know more along the lines of the tried and true original assassin's creed formula it's a it's actually a really good one uh it's i certainly liked it a lot more than syndicate i'll tell you that uh, and, and I thought that they actually did a pretty damn good job. And I was very surprised with how much I actually ended up enjoying it. Um, as I kind of just bought it on a whim, just thinking, ah, I like Assassin's Creed. I haven't played this one and might as well see what's up with this one. But, um, you know, if you like that formula, it's going to give you more of that and, uh, and, and a cool setting as well. But that's obviously a personal thing. Um, if you do not like that formula, is this one going to make you a fan of it? No, it's not. I don't, I don't think it would at least. So it would still not be relevant for you. It's not going to make you a fan of the Assassin's Creed universe. Um, if you weren't already one, it is likely to really just speak towards to uh, towards people who um, really enjoyed, you know, the first three to five Assassin's Creed because it does that 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 whole formula in a really really well uh, well well designed way, very much polished in comparison to the earlier games, and uh, and we'll give you more of that. So with that said, there's there's the information. Hopefully you can make a decision for yourself now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. No! Oh, bastard! Oh, I did it. And away we go, motherfuckers. I just really like jelly.